I went back and watched some friends um, to to kind of take in David. To prepare, I love that. <laughs> yes. Um, and I just, I don't think I'd seen it in 20 years. And there I was sitting there going, God, this is a funny show. These people are comic geniuses. The movie is really about perspective and it kind of follows uh, a bunch of different characters in Los Angeles that are kind of going through different versions of life crises. So some of that has to do with addiction, some of that is mental health, some of that is more kind of crisis of meaning. Um, and I think, you know, there are parts of the movie that get surreal in their representation of that. So that's, you know, more generally, it kind of deals with people who are sort of dealing with their own internal crises. I saw a short that he had done uh, that was similar to this film, basically, and um, I just thought it was very innovative and intimate, which I think those two things don't really um, uh, sit next to each other sometimes, and I felt like he had an ability to, you know, talk about really intense things in a very human and kind of clumsy and vulnerable way, and so when I read the script, I was just kind of in awe of how um, I'm always, I mean, I love young filmmakers. I just think it's like such an incredible thing to be able to be, you know, the nerves of it, the excitement of it, of making your first film. And I, I could just tell that he had put so much of his heart into this first script um, that I was just on board. I couldn't wait. I just feel like that kind of excitement is really rare and it can be very tangible and uh, other people get to sort of feed off of it, you know, when you're on set. Um, so, yeah, I think it was just an instant hell yes. Hell yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Jack does all my music videos, and it's going to be hard to get another one out of him after this. But it's easier that I worked with him on this, you know? Yeah. So now we kind of, you still owe me a little bit of something. Yeah, I'll probably give two more music videos out of you before you yeah. stop doing them. So what was your favorite thing about him from working together on music videos that you knew you could trust him for a feature. Just eyes and body language. And just the, uh, he's never really forcing me, to, even though the things that we do take on, like sitting in the cold for six hours at a time or drowning me in a Florida swamp, <laughs> uh, he's never like too pushy. It's always like, for the greater good and I always understand that. He just knows what he wants, which is nice. I really think Jack is a visionary and, and, and like, Dominic said he knows what he wants, but he's also such an open, collaborative, uh, present, vulnerable, beautiful filmmaker. And I sense that just from our brief conversation. And then on set, it w I was just blown away by it. And so, you know, that ended up being really kind of a wonderful place to be. You're quickly learning that a lot of being at a film festival is like accepting praise. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like, what to do with my face. <laughs> well, don't yeah. worry, it's <laughs> happening. Did you pitch this to Darren, or did he hear about it and come to you and say, I want to produce this? Um, or? I think he and his company, Protozo, came across the material. Like, so Donnie, my writing partner, and I had written this script, and we had a short. There was, you know, similar concept, um, and. That's, that's how I think they came across it. So it sort of was almost out of the blue in terms of, you know, Darren liked it and they want to meet, you know, and, and I think that um, once we got into it, it really felt like they kind of saw the same movie that I did and Darren liked the same things about it that I did. And so that made me feel like I was, you know, in really good hands. And David's not here, so we can embarrass him by me asking, does anyone have a favorite episode of Friends? <laughs> I went back and watched some friends um, to to kind of take in David. To prepare, I love that. <laughs> yes. Um, and I just, I don't think I'd seen it in 20 years. And there I was sitting there going, God, this is a funny show. These people are comic geniuses. Yeah. I really kind of didn't know that. That, you know, what I saw when I was 12 was this like incredible, masterful, comedic thing. I, I, I guess the whole world knew that. But um, so I didn't take in enough to remember what a favorite episode might be, but I was just kind of blown away by how incredible they all are. We're obviously at the very beginning of the year um, with like lots of, especially coming off of like strikes and stuff like that. What is everyone really excited 
to do? It's interesting. You have to strike, right? You have to say no before you can say yes. I mean, that is sort of the path of any artist um, because you can't just give things away for free. And, you, you know, boundary work is sort of the unromantic language of an artist, but we should romanticize it, you know? And so it's taking a while, I think, for things to kind of come back and find our feet again. Um, but maybe amen. I mean, maybe it's a good thing that it takes some time because we really have to, you know, the film industry is changing. Everything is restructuring. And I think instead of, you know, trying to go full steam ahead back 10 years, we should really embrace what 2024 is and the next 10 years and try to sort of build new bridges. Um, so that's what I'm excited for in this year is some bridge work. Are you getting on set for Euphoria? Is that in 2024 or you don't know? I don't know. I know I'm going on tour. Just out oh, sweet. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. What city are you most excited for? Uh, probably Brisbane, Shetland. We're going to Australia, New Zealand and things like that. There will be many more. I'll probably be touring until I'm unable to. Like broken or like your skis <laughs> give out? <laughs> your spirit or your body? <laughs> you know what? Whatever one goes first, who knows? Yeah. It's a hard one to tell.